Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at Remote Desktop Mobile on the HTC HD2. Windows Mobile has had this capability for many years now, but now with the HD2, we have multi-touch thrown into the mix, which makes a huge difference in your ability to navigate around a computer desktop. So obviously, Remote Desktop Mobile lets you use the same remote desktop protocol on your phone that you would use on a desktop or a laptop. A few notes on settings before I actually log into a computer and give the demonstration. Right now I have it set on high color because I'm using a local network so it's really fast. If you're using any sort of cellular data, you probably want to drop that down to 256 color just to make things a little bit faster. I also have full screen unchecked so that I can use the keyboard and fit remote desktop to screen so that I can have the highest resolution possible. So I'm going to click OK, zoom into the screen a little bit, and let's log in. So I'm going to hit Connect. And here we have the Windows 7 login screen. So I'm going to bring up the keyboard and bring it down a little bit so I can see, and type in the password. OK, there we go. And I'm going to click the Login button. It says Welcome. And here we are in my computer right now. So right now my computer is open, or computer as they call it in Vista and 7. I can click down into the Start menu as if I was sitting right in front of my computer and go to All Programs. Now obviously everything is really small right now. Here's where the multi-touch comes in. So I can actually pinch to zoom and use this little selector right now to, to get more precise and get closer on the screen. So if we want to open, say, uh, Microsoft Word, I can do that with ease and zoom out. And obviously, seeing, looking at those buttons up there and tapping on them is very difficult on such a small screen, or relatively speaking. So I can pinch to zoom, go up to the top, choose bold or italics or underline, zoom in. That's pretty much as much as you can zoom in, but it really helps. And of course, closing the program, it helps to be able to zoom in too. And it says, do you want to save changes? No. And you can use it just as if you were sitting at your computer with a mouse and a keyboard. So the multi-touch helps tremendously in using remote desktop mobile. And it's great that HTC was able to integrate this into a client that has been around for a very long time, but I don't think gets too much use. So that's it for now. For more coverage on the HTC HD2, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash pocketnowvideo. That's it for now.